everyone and welcome to another Quick Card Tuesday. Today we're going to be working on a fun and quick card. It's going to be for the holidays. We're going to be using the Spread Some Holiday Cheer Sentiment from the Kinder Stampo Vintage and Traditional Holiday Stamp Set. If you haven't seen this one yet, it's just a collection of really fun traditional sentiments in some fun vintage -y and classic fonts. So let's move this to the side and get started. The first thing we're going to need is a card base. So this one is going to be four and a quarter by 11 inches. I'm using some of this textured um, American Craft white paper. So we're just going to go ahead and fold it in half and then use our bone folder just to score it. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our um, embossing buddy and this is just to take out any static that's on our card. We're going to go ahead and put our sentiment right down here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my Versamark ink and I've already gone ahead and pulled the sentiment and this one says spread some holiday cheer and we're just going to get it nice and inked up like that and then we're going to put it about um, half an inch from the bottom of the card in the center and I know sometimes it's kind of hard to see where the sentiment is when you raise it up but it is there so we'll close this and move this over the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab some antique gold embossing powder and just kind of layer it generously on there and let's grab a little piece of scrap paper to just shake the excess off so all I'm doing is shaking it off so you guys can already see that you can read the sentiment really clearly. If you feel that you probably missed a few little spots, you can always go ahead and just put the same embossing powder on it again. And then go ahead and shake it off again. So this kind of will pick up any of the little areas that you might have missed. Let me go ahead and put my embossing powder back in here because I know that if I don't do it now, I'll never put it away and somehow it ended up flying around my craft room so there it goes and then I'll take my heat tool and we're just going to heat it up and like magic you'll see how shiny and beautiful it's going to heat set the powder Okay, so it's already starting to look like a really beautiful um, classy card. So you see it says, spread some holiday cheer in nice and um, bright gold. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be using my Bow Bunny um, Blitzen card, um, card stack here. So I've just gone ahead and grabbed three different coordinating papers. And we're going to cut three circles out. And these are going to be all two inch circles so let's just punch them out and keep in mind that I'm, I'm making a two inch um, circle ornament but you can use any size circle ornament you can actually use any other shape as well um, kind of play with it you'll see how much fun you have making this um, project okay so now I'm just going to go ahead and take my little um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink and I'm going to ink up the edges on this because I want um, it to look a little bit more detailed and finished. So I'm just going to ink up these edges. I also don't like the white edges to kind of pop out all the time. It makes it look like it's not um, complete for me. So there we go. As quick as that. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take these circles and we're just going to fold them in half. So I fold them in half away from me and whatever's in the center is the piece that I want to show. So there goes my first one. And you notice that I just picked three random colors. I didn't um, do anything that was like so specifically coordinated. So have fun with these. You'll see how many different ways you can make them. So now I'm just going to open up the three little circles 
and I'm going to kind of layer them like this. kind of looks like a beach ball at first, um, but you'll see how it comes together. And actually, I think I want the beige in the center so that it shows a little more. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my center circle, and I'm going to put some adhesive. In this case, I'm using some Helmar craft glue. And we're just going to glue one side of the green one to the gray um, to the beige. Make sure that these are nicely secured. And now again, I'm gonna put some adhesive on the other side of the beige circle and adhere the blue side. Okay, so now we have something that looks like that. And then we're going to go ahead and adhere this right down on our card. So just take your glue once again and put some adhesive and put it wherever you wish. I want it to be kind of offset to the right but about an inch above my sentiment. So like that. Okay, so we're almost done. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of seam binding and in this case I'm working with some champagne colored seam binding and I'm just gonna make a really quick bow so just two bunny ears like this cross them over and then the right flap goes through the little hole really basic bow and generally this comes out exactly how you want it I want to tighten my little loops because um, I don't want it to overpower my ornament, so I want to make sure that my loops are a little bit smaller than they were, something like this. And then I'm just going to take the two edges of the ribbon and I'm going to fold them in half and cut at a diagonal. So now we have something that looks like this, and we'll do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay, so now we have that. And this little bow is going to go right above my ornament like this. And I'm going to go ahead and do one more thing first. I want to add a dangle of um, some rhinestones. So I'm just going to grab these rhinestones right here and just put the strip right on the card so it looks like my ornament is hanging okay and then we'll put a little bit of adhesive on here and we'll put our bow on there and I think nope I think I'm just gonna leave it like that just really quick and elegant so here we go it's just a really quick and elegant card that you can make a bunch of and send out for the holidays. What's really great is that because it's layered, you can go ahead and close it down like this. And you see how you can send this in one of those flat rate envelopes. So it won't be one of those um, overpriced um, Christmas cards this year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tip. And I can't wait to share new ideas with you really soon. Thanks for watching.